Hi, I'm Emily Conkle. I graduated from Tatopolis High School in the spring of 2023. When did you first pick up a softball? Um, whenever I was four, I was on my first t-ball team, so out in Bishop. When did you first get interested in softball? So I started when I was really young. I played Park District, and then I moved on and I played travel softball in Charleston from like 10U to 14U, and that was when I kind of knew that Softball was my favorite sport and that's what I wanted to play. You were a three sport athlete from high school and junior high. And how young were you becoming a three sport athlete in general? Um, I played basketball since I was probably second grade, third grade. I played softball obviously really young. And then volleyball, I just played in junior high. That was all we had at the time. So I just picked it up then. What do you enjoy so much about softball? Um, to me, it's a little more relaxing. It's not as fast paced as basketball or volleyball. And you can kind of hold yourself more accountable. Um, you can put in more reps hitting. It's not like you can put it on a teammate if you're not hitting well, it's on you. How do you manage free time when the challenge comes your way of basketball, volleyball, and softball? So you definitely have to keep um, kind of like your life separate from sports because you don't want your whole life to be revolved around that so I like to kind of after practice is over just like you know eat dinner or whatever and then kind of just forget about it for the night just let myself have some time to think about other stuff. What was the success like for you in basketball in junior high? Um, in junior high we made it to state both years seventh grade I think we got fourth eighth grade we lost the first round so definitely try to carry on the tradition. What was the transition like from junior high to high school level? Um, I feel like playing travel softball in the summers kind of prepared me more for high school, kind of got me exposed to higher level pitching and just how um, better teams you play in the summer than you play in junior high. Who were the travel team you played for in softball? Um, I played for the Charleston Chill from 10U to about 14U, and then I played for Midland Magic from 14U to 18U. When did you officially start softball in high school? Um, my freshman year was COVID year, so we didn't have a season that year. And then sophomore year, I started at shortstop. As a shortstop, okay, what challenges come your way um, as far as you're one of the more important players on the field, but also what excites you the most about the position? Yeah, you definitely get a lot more balls hit to you, I feel like, than other positions. So you have to be ready at all times. I'm excited to get um, experience playing against players that are really good, hit the ball really hard, and see what I can do. makes you such a unique athlete? Um, I feel like I'm pretty competitive. I always want to win, so it kind of makes me push myself harder in practice and games. Favorite game to play in? Um, for volleyball, probably beating Effingham at home last year on our um, Purple Out Art Cancer Night game that was dedicated to Elizabeth. For basketball, I would say there were a lot of good ones this year. I liked beating Highland at the Highland tournament. We went on a game winner and they beat us earlier in the year. So that's exciting. Softball, probably Westville. We beat them one to zero in extra innings. Um, they beat us, they knocked us out of the regional last year. So we kind of got our revenge. As far as most memorable moment on the softball field, not just for you, but for the team. Um, when Tia Preps was a senior, so it would have been my junior year. Um, she suffered an accident and she was still came to every practice, every game. She was our biggest hype woman. We loved her and she got to pitch for senior night against Effingham. So that was pretty awesome. She got to throw her one pitch and we all got to give her hugs and stuff. And so that was really exciting. <laughs>
Top players to go up against in each sport? Um, for volleyball, I would say the whole Sioux Straws volleyball team in general, but um, Hallie Moonwall is pretty good. Um, basketball, I always say Lucy Fierday. She's always a tough competitor. Um, there's lots of really good basketball players around our area. For softball, I'd say Lucy Fierday again, just because she's a pitcher, um, a really great pitcher. And Camarillo is always hard to get out. St. Anthony's whole team, really. Top players to play with? Um, I love playing with Kaylee Neverty in basketball and softball. I'm sure if you watch any of our games, you can tell. Courtney Gibson in basketball and softball. Um, in volleyball, a couple of my best friends played, Katie and Taylor. Um, Summer Wall played all three sports with me. Gotta give a shout out to her. We love playing with her, so. Favorite field to play on besides T-Town? Um, we got to play at Eastern, so obviously I have to say that one. Um, Edwardsville has a super nice field. And it's always fun to play over at Evergreen Park in Effingham. Not necessarily the field being the nicest, but just the event that takes place. What is it like on that Friday night, the Cross Creek Classic, St. Anthony, T-Town, when everybody is there in attendance? It's a super fun game. Um, it's way more fun when you win. Found that out sophomore year. But um, everybody's there. The radio's there. You can hear Greg Sapp. The media's all there. All your family's there. Um, it's definitely a different experience to get to play under the lights for a lot of people. So it's definitely exciting. One of the favorite games of the year. What would you consider yourself more of a strength, hitting or playing shortstop? I would say hitting because I feel like I can play whatever position. So as long as I can hit, I can get in the field somewhere. High school softball this afternoon has Tuscola hosting two topless in a non-conference game. She was wasting no time scoring in the first. Emily Conkle skies it to center deep enough to allow Olivia Koppel on the sack fly. Turn now, T-Town softball matched up with Freeburg. Emily Conkle is going to smoke it to center to help the runner at first advance to second. She was fielding now. And how about this sequence right here? Off of the bunt, she was going to get the batter out over at first. And the catcher, Aaron Althoff, with the presence of mind to go to third for the tag out. What a play. Then it's Conkle delivering a two-run single to center. Now driving two. How do you envision yourself as a shortstop? Um, I feel like I have a pretty good arm, but I also feel like I can read the ball off the bat really well, kind of get a jump on where it's going. I think that's one of my good skills. What would be the toughest obstacle of being a leader? Um, there's always that chance that people aren't going to like you, they're not going to like what you have to say, um, but you have to just kind of take it with a grain of salt, try to push them to do their best so the team benefits from it. What would be the biggest improvement in your game from when you were a freshman to where you're at now? Um, one big thing would be confidence. You know, as a freshman you're like, oh, they're seniors, they're scary, but um, through sophomore ball, through, you know, experience, I feel like I gain more confidence in myself and in my teammates. What makes you different than other people? Um, that's a good question. I just, I just feel like I'm trying to be the best version of myself every day. That's just what I'm rocking with. Funniest moment on or off the field? Um, anything with Kaylee, Courtney, or Tia. We always had good times. I remember lots of memories of us laughing a lot.
What do you credit your athleticism to? Um, a lot of hard work, um, a lot of hours spent in the gym, on the field, whatever. Um, keeping my mind right, ready to play and stuff. So. Why do you think it's so important to show off your skills, whether what sport you're playing in general? Um, people are always watching. They, they come out to watch your games, or maybe they're just in the park when you're practicing, whatever it is. Um, you want to just show them that it, is, it takes hard work, and you know anybody can do it with a little bit of dedication. As far as a softball mentality, what's it like playing for Coach Crystal Tipton? Um, I've enjoyed, I enjoyed my time playing with Coach Tipton. Um, she was always positive, looking for things that we could do better, but also telling us what we did well. So. How did you like Coach Thompson? I loved Miss Thompson. She'd do anything for us. Um, she always was trying to make us be our best. Even when practices were hard, we knew it was for our benefit, even though it didn't feel like it at the time. But Miss C was always do it, would do anything for us, so we appreciate her. What does it mean to you to be named Female Athlete of the Year for the Daily News? Um, it was exciting. I was very thankful. Um, it kind of feels like your hard work and like the daily grind kind of paid off. What type of an impact has being a three-sport athlete meant to you? Um, I've definitely created a lot of friendships just playing with different people in all three sports. So I'm grateful for those and um, just met a lot of people through the years and created nice relationships. Cool. What was it like for you for senior night knowing that you left your last impression on the, on the softball field for the last time? Um, it was definitely bittersweet. Um, T-Town has been great and loved playing, um, but I knew I had more to come, so it wasn't as sad for me as it was for others. What will you remember the most this year? Um, we definitely made a lot of memories. Um, I think that we will just remember like all the bus rides, all the talks that we had before practice, you know, the things outside of the field that we got to experience together. So you're committed to playing softball at EIU. What went into that decision? Um, the location, it's 40 minutes from my house. Um, the coaches, I love Coach Archibald. She's very positive thinking. She's always asking us how we can um, be a better version of ourselves. So she's looking out for us, um, both in life and softball. And I just was excited to get the chance to play there. And speaking of that, they just made their first NCAA softball college appearance. Um, what's that go through your mind knowing you're going to that school now? You can kind of help them out with that too. It's definitely exciting. Um, it gives us another goal, you know, to get back there. So there's a lot more excitement, I feel like, around the program. People are coming out to watch games and stuff, so we're looking forward to it. When did you realize you had the college softball potential? Um, when I joined Midland Magic, when I was second year of 14U, so I was about 15 years old. Um, they kind of were like, you can play college softball. You need to start um, getting your name out there, emailing coaches. And um, they really helped me and let me know that it was possible. When did EIU start taking notice in you? Um, because of the NCAA rules, they cannot actually contact you until September 1st of your junior year. So they reached out that day. But before that, they had been at a couple of our games. They had talked to my coaches, but they couldn't directly talk to me. How much respect do you feel knowing that you're going to EIU as a shortstop, but also that they're recruiting you for that too? Um, playing shortstop is, is a cool position to play. You get a lot of balls hit to you. So I feel like getting to play that prominent, I guess, of a position um, is exciting. What would be one thing you would like to work on as you get to college level to improve on your skills? Um, you can always work on hitting. Nobody's hitting a thousand. So 
there's always room for improvement on hitting and if you can hit they usually find a place for you on the field that's what I like to think at least so I like to work on that what excites you the most playing for the Panthers um, for starters making the NCAA tournament winning the OVC tournament um, so there's just a lot of like excitement within the program and then also, I'm only 40 minutes from home, so my parents can come watch me. So I'm pretty excited about that. We definitely want to get back to the NCAA tournament. Um, I'd like to, you know, get in the lineup, see what I can do. What type of advice would you give people as far as the young generation, as far as three-sport athlete and focusing on trying to be a better athlete every day? Um, first of all, you have to be able to set aside sports from your daily life. Um, it can't just be all about sports all the time, otherwise you will get burnt out on it. And just remember to smile, it's not all serious all the time. Um, I hope people just remember me for like my smile and not for, not for necessarily how I played every game or whatever, but just the hard work and the dedication that it takes. Who has had the biggest impact on your life? Definitely my parents. They, um, obviously they raised me, but They've put a lot of sacrifices down so I can play my sports. They come to all my games, they support me, they help me with everything in life. So I love them. Well, but after college, what are some of the goals or what does it look like five, 10 years down the line? Um, so after I play at EIU, I have four years there. Um, I plan to become a physical therapist. So that's what I want to do, maybe come back here and that. What has the support been like from the Wooden Shoe community? Um, obviously we have a great showing. Um, basketball we always have tons of fans and I like to think that a lot of people came out for our softball games this spring too so that was definitely exciting. So just like tell th the community thank you for all your support. Um, just a big thank you to everybody who's helped me along the way you know from before to now. Um, there's been a lot of people that have impacted my career as an athlete but also my life. Emily Conkle, 2023 Totopolis High School grad, going to EIU to play softball, uh, D1 level. Emily, thanks so much for your time. It's been a pleasure to cover you all four years of high school, but also look forward to what the, the your career has in store for you. Thanks, Sierra. It's been a pleasure.